Hey, what's happening? News, charts, alpha, in that order. You know what we're doing. And the market's moving, so we've got some interesting stuff to say. First off, for the news, it's a, it's news to me. Joe Rogan has had CoffeeZilla on. I'm about halfway through the podcast myself, and it's great. They've basically talked about crypto the whole time, and mostly Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX. So it's a really good watch, uh, really good listen. I was listening to it, but you can watch it on Spotify for free. And um, yeah, they cover all the bases. It's juicy. It's entertaining. And I really appreciate uh, CoffeeZilla's work. Really appreciate CoffeeZilla's work. So without um, holding up any more time on the news, that's the news. That's big news to me. So we'll move forward to the charts. This is building off onto what we talked about yesterday, where bullish till you're bearish, bearish till you're bullish. You've got to be able to change. You got when, when new information comes in, it's the people that... You know, if you go and you tell your friends that you're bullish, you pick a team or you go, you say that you're bearish, you pick that team or you're an altcoin, you love this altcoin, you hate this altcoin, you pick that team. I'm telling you, you are destined for failure. You are destined for failure. Someone's got to tell it to you. I'm telling it to you. So what you do or what I do, what a lot of traders do, if you listen to a lot of good uh, reading material, audio books, etc., market wizards, uh, you will know that when there is new information that you set previously to when it happens to take out the emotions, then you can change your opinion when that data comes in. So basically for me, it is and it was large time candle closes below the previous candle lows. So there's two times. Let me, let me talk about this for a second. Ready? There's two times. Get the hands in there. There's two times that I'd long. I take a long position. I take a long position on a buy the dip, higher low uh, entry in an uptrend for a long, or I buy uh, open a long at the start of strength. So down here, we had lots of indications that this was the start of strength. You can see the start of strength there on the second of January. So right there, maybe it was the third, second, or it was the third in Australia. Uh, I'm on the exchange time now. So right here, we got the sign of strength. And we actually, in the blockchain bulls, we opened our first long-term accumulation point where we opened at 16K, one out of 10. We're doing 10 this year, 10 accumulations this year of Bitcoin. That was our first one right there, the start of strength. I also opened a long trade with leverage as well. So obviously went really well. So the start of strength or buying the retracement at where you deem a fair price. And where I deem a fair price is at and around the previous low because in an uptrend, it's higher lows. So until this uptrend is broken, see, you can see this is what we we're talking about yesterday as well. If you're here, pivot point, pivot point, pivot point. So this red candle hits a lot of people. A lot of people go short, breakout traders. Let's see how it's been down below this for a bit now, uh, over a day, as you can see by the daily candle, uh, then a lot of people are going short. But what takes priority over diagonal trend lines is horizontal support and resistance numbers, the numbers. So it has not closed. Yes, yeah, dipped in, but you got to understand all these people that are long and all long in this, all these dip buyers here, they're all putting their stop losses. It's all about where their stop losses are. Their stop losses are there. 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 Using previous, all these longers here, their stop losses are there. All these, it's all about hitting everyone's stops. It's all about hitting enough people's stops uh, before the buyers come in in droves and turn it around. I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen, but I'm saying the same thing that I've been saying, and that's I'm bullish until candles close below this line where they've previously closed and if you want to be if you want to be aggressive with uh, your targets then you zoom in to the furthest i zoom into is the four hour chart and you can see the candles close a little bit lower there so we can bring this down to 21 500 and you know max max you can go the the lowest point the wick right but i much prefer doing candle closes on candle closes because that's more important than, than Wix. Wix can be erratic and Wix can be different on multiple different exchanges. So I'm just looking at Bybit right now. So this Bybit one's going to look different to the Coinbase one slightly, have different numbers.
There you go. I mean, it's close. Look, you can see the candle closes there, lined up exactly with that wick, come down, hit the stops, hit a lot of stops, and paused there. So we're at five minutes now. So I'll just talk about one more thing. But actually, I'll just say, I'll just say, this pretty much is the alpha. You don't, if you can turn bearish once you've got the confirmation. So we get stuck in candle closes down here and then comes up for a retest there. Yeah, that's just short. We're short and I'm bearish. You're looking for something like this, something to come and visit this old friend, this magnetic line that we've talked about in the past as well. And if you flick the, where's the, yeah, this is the golden cross. So 200 day moving average, that'll be basically the point that it wants to find. So whether it finds it up here somewhere, if we get a bounce or if it keeps coming down, and this keeps going like this, you'll get the whole bear trap scenario Ducked, ducks below the 200 makes it onto the news everybody starts freaking out panicking sells then goes up from there bounces <laughs> it's all programmed everybody it's programmed in all right where we are plugged in and we can see it so peace out i'm gonna leave it there actually because that was alpha and that is the time limit exceeded peace and love i'll talk to you soon i'll see you tonight in the live screen share if you're a bulls member